Hey, this is just a little bonus material from CBiz Media's The Mix podcast. So thanks for joining us. And it's a little bonus material from our um, episode, Reading is Fundamental. If you didn't see or hear the podcast, because it's audio, guys, go to cbiztvonline.com. All right, guys, this is bonus material from our podcast. And I'm going to continue with another book audio book called Respect the Life of Aretha Franklin by David Ritz, published in 2014. And I gotta say love to the late great Aretha Franklin. She's a Detroit girl. I'm a Detroit girl, so I have to show her love. And I also have to let you guys know that she was not really fond of this book. This is an audio book that I listened to part of it. I did not listen to the full book, so I don't have the full 100% story. But I invite you guys to go listen and make your own assumptions and and assertions about this book because it was written by another party and it was not exactly approved by Miss Aretha. The book did have some naughty bits about her and her life and her circle and some of the people that she was around. Again, listen on your own and make your own um, assumptions or assertions about her life. But nobody knows but her, you know, exactly what went down so I'll let's just keep that in mind but I'm just gonna quickly just get into what I took away from the book I'm not gonna get into any details about Miss Aretha and her life or anything like that and no hate always about love so we're not gonna get too deep into that but I'll just share something that I found out through the book because this author talked to people that was in her circle and she grew up in the church in the gospel world, but, um, seeing how famous her father was for some reason, the gospel and the soul and R and B musics mingled together. So there were a lot of artists that they worked with as, especially as she was trying to, trying to cross over but even before that because a lot of the gospel artists it looks like they were trying to cross over and get into mainstream music so she intermingled and connected with some of those people as well and so someone in her circle or someone that was around during that time in that music scene shared something about the behaviors of some of the artists and we all know in the music world that We've all heard the stories of how it gets really sexual and there's a lot of sexual activity surrounded by especially these major big artists where they have a lot of fans and people willing to do a lot of things. So that's no secret. Um, But I was surprised to see that this was also going on in the gospel world that some of the gospel artists were getting in on this as well. And this particular person was not a gospel artist. They were, um, I'll say they worked more in the secular field or mainstream music, but they shared that some of the people in the gospel world were a little bit more freaky and a little bit more, more ready to do different things and try things with the same sex. So I was surprised and shocked to hear that from this, uh, particular person but I shouldn't, I'm not that surprised because we all know that certain things go on in the music industry, but in the gospel industry, I was somewhat surprised to, to hear that information and to hear what really goes on. And I feel like it was somewhat telling about people in the gospel world because, you know, I'm a Christian and I I represent that. And I just didn't like the fact that us as Christians are representing one thing and living another thing and being two-faced, so to speak. Now, I'm not talking about any particular person or people. And this book was talking about people back, probably back in the 60s or that time. So, you know, I'm not trying to indict anybody or indict all the Christians or the whole gospel world or all of gospel music, but it's just very telling that maybe we still have some work to do those people of faith in representing God and 
really being what we say we are really about. And that's just for anybody, I feel. We have to be 100 with who we really are and show respect of of who we are and don't be two-faced. Don't try to trick people and be one way and then do something else and not really represent who you really are supposed to be representing. So that's something that I took away from that book.